The Costume Institute at the Metropolitan Museum of Art chose a relatively abstract theme for their 2019 exhibition. Camp, notes on fashion, would yield as many questions as it did answers. You know, it's notoriously elusive camp. It's a very difficult concept to define because it's always changing. It changes with the times in which we're living. But I think it's easier to describe the characteristics of camp. So irony, uh, humor, artifice, exaggeration, generosity, naivete. These are all aspects that reveal themselves in camp. Uh, I think probably the ultimate expression is irony. There's always a heavy irony behind camp. And a great humor, you know, it puts a big smile on your face. It's sort of a schizophrenic exhibition. There's two halves. So the first half focuses on the origins of camp from the 17th century in the court of Louis XIV until it really became absorbed into the mainstream with Susan Sontag's Notes on Camp in 1964. The exhibition is sort of like a uh, homage to Susan Sontag's essay because she gave us a grammar and a language to sort of understand camp. So she's very much at the heart of the exhibition. So the first half of the show really is meant to give you a framework to understand camp, and then you get in the second half, which is sort of like a camp explosion, which looks at how the camp aesthetic is reflected in fashion. Over 250 objects and designs are on display in this year's exhibit, including looks from British provocateur Dame Vivian Westwood. So we have two pieces by, by Vivian, I believe, the Queen of England, so count. And then we have a body stocking with a love heart at, down below. And she's next to a piece by Walter van Bendark, a naked body with a statement, Camp can rise to the occasion. Moschino's latest creative director, Jeremy Scott, is also featured heavily in the exhibition. Jeremy, my goodness, there's so many pieces by Jeremy, both on his own label, but also for Moschino. And again, you know, he was the perfect designer to take on the mantle of Franklin Moschino because he understands camp inherently. Jeremy has this incredible generosity to him. So I think that's one of the major definitions of camp is that it's generous. And I think Jeremy, more than any other designer, manifests that aspect of camp. And it wouldn't be a proper camp tribute without the wonderfully witty Tom Brown. Tom's somebody who, he, he plays the camp differently. In terms of Tom, he's about confounding gender boundaries and playing with gender boundaries, and challenging what we mean by gender and how we express it in fashion. So one piece we have of his is a sort of Victor Victorian ensemble where from the front it's a suit, a black suit, a groom and at the back is a bride, a dress. So really sort of like focusing on the sort of like confusion between gender boundaries that we're, they're experiencing. I think often camp has been dismissed as something quite frivolous, unimportant. We're in actual fact, you know, camp is so much part of our culture. It's inherently political. It surfaces at moments of uh, political and economic and social instability. So, and it's subversive, it's still subversive, despite its mainstreaming, it still is able to challenge the status quo and to confront the status quo. Camp really is a, more of a site of debate rather than consensus. So we actually end with just a very simple chemise dress by Franco Moschino, who I think is one of the kings of camp, with just a question mark on it, uh, with a statement that camp is a question mark whose line refuses to be straightened up into an exclamation point because it's, it's still, you're always questioning what is camp. Mm -hmm.